as a kid I was in little punk bands and things like that my whole life um, but I started to try and do hip hop and things like that but uh, I live in a small town in Essex I spend my life on the moon my life on the road town to town city to city time zone to time zone a lot of people kind of think they'll start to have a, a, a YouTube hit or something like that and they'll be doing everything only online but if you're not getting out and gigging as well then you don't build that live fan base it's kind of it kind of it, it should all exist hand in hand my addictions or rather my addictions um or the struggle yeah it's really about exploring the idea of celebrity and um and and wanting to write your classic kind of country or blues serial killer song or killer song there's blues or there's so many blues songs were just stories of murder and a life on the road and i wanted to kind of it get into that. Aside from those bleeds of migraines, explain the occasional mood swings and blood stains. And lyrically, it's it's a weird. It's the one that I was again unsure how people would react because the first verse it's kind of telling the story of life on the road and people are instantly thought at first at first it's about me but then it's actually I wanted to write a serial killer song and story so it starts to reveal that it's a serial killer but then at the end of the verse the first verse it reveals that the serial killer in this story is Johnny Depp. He'd rather be um, like a factory worker than a king because a factory worker can dream of being a king the king of England can't dream of being the king of France my performances are greeted with plaudits and laughter if you call me red-handed you'd probably think it's stigma if, if, if there's a murder that's happened in 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 Jamaica one week and then a few months later there's another one in, in London and no one's gonna associate them two but Johnny Depp happened to be filming a film there that month and he's in London this month for some press so you know it, I'm not saying he definitely is. I'm just saying that, you know, just look at the facts. <laughs> that which you aspire to provides a roof, a ceiling. In particular, the dreams that there's no way of achieving. Like... Don't know, again, it's possibly that different approach. I mean, because everything I record and write is just me talking in my own voice. I've not really got a rap voice or a singing voice, things like that. So, it's obvious for me that I have to put that much more thought and effort into what I'm writing about. Power and great success has been given me, and with great power comes great fuckability. I was in love with music b before poetry or spoken word, so I mean, I'd always say that when I was writing spoken word, it was always with either a beat in mind or some kind of instrumentation. That is a house I have a bloodstained lawn. My public portrait's immaculate, but there's blood on the easel. My name is Johnny Depp and I kill people. It's when the, any song or poem is, is finished in my mind is when you've played it alive a few times. Like the recording of an album, everyone thinks of that as the end point. I honestly don't think it is. I think you record the album and then you go out and tour it. The shock. 